The opposition parties have finally succeeded in merging their candidates just five days before the presidential election. People Power Party presidential candidate Yoon Song Yeol and his People's Party counterpart An Chur Su announced that An will drop out of the race to help unify the opposition camp for the impending election. They also said they will push for the two parties to merge after the election. The decision to unify the opposition's presidential candidate and change the whole election landscape came out of the blue. Following an early morning meeting, Yoon Sung Yeol and An Chul Su announced that An decided to drop out of the presidential race to better replace the current government. The two candidates who vowed to make a government that unites the people said they will work together in organizing a transitional committee and even shaping a joint government. They proposed a market-friendly government, transpartisanship, and pragmatism as key words. They also said that they would get ready for the upcoming local elections together by merging the PPP and the People's Party immediately after the presidential election. An, who had vowed to finish the race on his own, said that he decided to yield to Yun for the greater cause. Some speculated that An could be thinking about joining the cabinet once Yun is elected president. After dropping out of the race, An met with his supporters through his YouTube channel and plans to soon join Yoon in campaigning. Meanwhile, the ruling Democratic Party, which had also wooed An Su in a proposal to create a unified government, was taken aback by the merger decision and was busy assessing the ramifications. The DP criticized An and Yoon's united candidacy as a collusion and expects the move could serve to rally support for its candidate Lee jae -myung. The surprise news from the opposition bloc prompted an emergency yeah. meeting at the ruling camp. The DP denounced the merger as a collusion aimed at sharing key positions, and they vowed to shift to an around-the-clock emergency mode for an all-out response. 당원과 지지자들이 비상한 결의로 나서 주시기를 호소합니다. 우리에게는 아직 6일의 시간이 남아 있습니다. Up until it happened, the DP was confident that an opposition merger was no longer a reality. Harsh criticism continued all day. An was called a liar who betrayed overseas Koreans who had already cast their ballots. The ruling party was also displeased with the phrase, a united public government included in the merger declaration, arguing that the opposition copied their slogan. <laughs> The DP is closely monitoring the aftermath and expects support for Lee Jae-myung to receive a boost. It also anticipates that around half of An Chul-soo's supporters will eventually give up going to the polls, while the other half will be evenly split between Lee Jae-myung and Yoon sung yeol When Lee was asked to comment about the opposition's decision, he simply said he will go his own way and that he trusts the public. Justice Party presidential candidate Shim Sang Jung also expressed regret, saying An has surrendered to a major party. Korea added a record number of 266,853 new COVID-19 cases as of midnight to Friday. And with more and more school teachers becoming infected, schools are having a hard time finding substitute teachers. They have no other choice but to have their infected teachers teach online. This middle school teacher was diagnosed with COVID-19 four days before the new school year. On the first day of the new school year, eight teachers in the same school could not report to work due to COVID-19. They had to conduct classes online from home, as the school could not find substitutes. 
오늘이나 어제 확진이 됐는데 당장 내일 수업을 대체할 수 있는 강사님을 구하기가 굉장히 어려워요 그래서 거의 대부분 확진된 교사들이 저처럼 집에서 재, 재택으로 원격 수업을 진행하고 있습니다 In Seoul alone, some 1,800 school teachers became infected and are currently quarantined. Many school cafeteria, daycare and administrative workers are also becoming infected. Hundreds of hiring ads looking for part-time teachers were posted on the recruitment website of the Office of Education in just two days. The Ministry of Education says it has provided lists of 75,000 substitute teachers to schools. Authorities have also raised the maximum age for retired teachers to over 62, so they can be hired as substitutes. However, such efforts are not enough. 그풀 가지고는 구하기가 좀 어렵습니다. 아, 늘 그렇듯이 교감생님이 가지고 있는 그 자료라든지 또 주변 지인들을 통해서 강사를 구해야 되는 그런 상황인데 현재로서는 그런 분들이 거의 다 지금 많이 나가 있는 상태고. Teachers organizations are demanding the education authorities employ substitute teachers directly and dispatch them to schools. President Moon Jae-in has spoken on the phone with his Ukrainian counterpart Volodymyr Zelensky. Moon expressed strong support for Ukraine, while Zelensky thanked Korea for its help and participation in international sanctions. On Thursday, one week after Russia's invasion of Ukraine, President Moon Jae-in held a phone conversation with his Ukrainian counterpart Volodymyr Zelensky. The two leaders spoke on the phone for half an hour from 5.30 p.m. Korea time. It's their first conversation in about two years. The Korean leader first expressed condolences to victims of the Russian invasion and extended his respect for the people and the president of Ukraine for standing up against the aggression. He said he deeply sympathizes with Ukraine's hardships and sorrow because Korea also went through a war. President Moon on the phone also stressed that Ukraine's sovereignty and territory must be protected. Moon said his administration had joined efforts in international sanctions against Russia and plans to send $10 million worth of humanitarian aid. Moon also promised to allow Ukrainian citizens to stay in Korea until the situation in their home country stabilizes. He also urged the Ukrainian leader to ensure safety of some 40 Korean nationals still residing in Ukraine. President Moon added that he and the Korean people strongly stand with Ukraine. President Zelensky on Twitter expressed his gratitude to President Moon for Korea's help and participation in the sanctions against Russia. He also called for cooperation to stand against the war. The Ukrainian leader has held phone conversations with several other world leaders, including U.S. President Joe Biden and Japanese Prime Minister Fumio Kishida, to discuss countermeasures against the Russian aggression. The 35-story height limit that was applied to apartments in Seoul for nearly a decade will be abolished. This is expected to change the landscape along the Hangang River, where residential buildings have been raised like matchboxes. Seoul City will allow different height levels in accordance with regional trades. Apartment buildings lined along the Hangang Riverside. They all stand in similar heights regardless of the surrounding topography. This is because residential structures could not be taller than 35 stories in accordance with the Seoul Metropolitan Government Regulation. This uniform rule that led to a monotonous urban landscape will now be scrapped. 서울 전역의 일률적이고 절대적인 수치 기준으로 적용했던 35층 높이 기준을 삭제하고 보다 유연하고 창의적인 건축이 가능한 스카이라인 가이드라인으로 전환합니다. Various height levels will be allowed in the deliberation stage of city renovation plans reflective of regional characteristics. However, measurements such as the floor area ratio will be maintained in a bid to prevent overcrowded development and enhance a sense of openness. The 35-story cap introduced in 2014 has been under criticism for its uniformity and a negative impact on urban scenery. 처음에 취지는 잘 됐지만 운영하다 보니까 너무 디테일하고 경직적이다. Some are concerned that deregulation could stimulate the real estate market. A master blueprint on Seoul City's urban planning that contains such new rules will be finalized at the end of this year, after opinions are further gathered.
Salmonella anadromous, which means they hatch in fresh water, migrate to the ocean, and then return to fresh water to reproduce. In Korea, salmon generally return to the Gangwon-do region through the East Sea, but an experiment is underway to make the fish return to the rivers that run into the South Sea. The Dongcheon River flows through the city of Suncheon in Jeollanam-do province and leads out to the South Sea. <laughs> Fifty thousand salmon fry are released into the Dongcheon River. They swim eagerly out of the cramped bowls and into the big ocean. The Yonoga Toro Muroso, Toyka, Toy Sunchonido, Kekutago, Sagi Chota, Yakan, Yon, Imija, Imija Toto, Kuchoga. Salmon swim out to the sea after hatching in rivers. Then they continue to grow in the North Pacific Ocean for up to four years before returning to the place where they originally hatched. In Korea, Salmon generally return to the rivers in Yangyang, Samcheok, and Ulchin through the East Sea. But in 2020, several dozens of fully grown salmon were discovered in Suncheon in southern Korea. They are presumed to be the ones released there as an experiment back in 2017. So this year, fisheries authorities decide to put in identifying marks inside the salmons before they are released to the South Sea to find out for certain whether they return to the southern rivers. 이석 푸지라는 걸 합니다. 작은 돌 같은 게 하나 들어 있습니다. 이석에도 나이트에 비슷하게 이렇게 주름이 이렇게 있어요. 수원을 충격을 주면은 나이트에 간극이 벌어져서 알 단계일 때 이제 이석 표지를 하게 되죠. Salmon have to swim for about 20,000 kilometers to return home. 일단 첫 번째로 주민들, 어민들에게 소독 증대를 할수 있을 것 같고요. 두 번째로는 이제 플라잉 낚시가 있지 않습니까? 그런 식으로 해서 건강 상품화가 될 Perhaps these salmon can one day call the rivers in the southern region their home.